at the festival of speed uh, for the first time for flat track. Um, really, we just came over to uh, introduce our sport to a new crowd that might have not even seen flat track. There's been a lot of people that I've talked to that never heard of it. Uh, to not only showcase the singles class, but also the twins class for flat track. Um, you know, it really brings our sport now to the world level in motorsports. It's, it's an unbelievable moment. American flat track, to me, it most resembles spring car racing back in the States where they race cars on dirt ovals, except we do it on motorcycles with only a rear brake, going up over 100 mile an hour as fast as we can, sliding through the corners, handlebar to handlebar, pushing our buddies around to try and be the first one across the finish line. My dad raced flat track, and uh, so I'm a second generation flat track rider. My brother also races, so I've been riding a dirt bike since I was three years old. Uh, I started racing a little bit later when I was around 12 years old, but uh, I had to wait for my dad to retire. There's definitely some things that I'm very proud of, you know. Uh, the biggest thing was probably winning the Grand National Championship. Um, I was able to do it at 20 years old uh, somehow. It's, it was the third youngest champion in the history of the sport. I'm uh, sitting on the Indian motorcycle FTR 750 Scout. Um, this is a purpose-built race bike for flat track. Um, puts down about 100 horsepower, uh, roughly 330 pounds. Um, but it's a very smooth, forgiving motorcycle um, for flat track. American flat track is definitely not as easy as what it looks. Yes, we're going in circles, but we're literally going flat out as fast as we can. And, um, you know, it's, it's dangerous. It's, you know, it can result in death, injury, you know, just like any other form of motorsports. It's, it's extreme. Currently, I'm the winningest rider in the American Flat Track Pro Singles class with 12 wins. Uh, but winning that first race, uh, September 9, 2011, to become the first female to win in, in the sport, that was huge. It was, uh, you know, a dream come true. I overcame a lot of variables. My father passed away in 2010, so to get that first win uh, without my main supporter, it was huge. So this is a Husqvarna FC450 2018, just like the Supercross and Motocross riders are running this year. Um, basically, we got it off the showroom floor from Husqvarna and lowered the forks and the shock, put some wheels on it, and uh, it's ready to go racing. It's our first year here at the Festival of Speed, going up the hill climb. The crowd has been nuts. I don't think I've ever seen more people enthused about motorsports in my entire life. And, uh, you know, they're all waving and cheering every time we go up the hill. and. Uh, you know, the boys are a little rowdy doing some burnouts and wheelies. You know, it's, it's truly an amazing experience.